He's made millions, I'm saying millions, off of this business. Trash can donuts, the best investment ever. Hey, Survivor Spy here, and welcome back to another Tiny Town episode. Last episode, this massive cargo ship cruised right into the safe zone here and unloaded a ton of zombies. And this episode, we're going to be going outside the safe zone and building something a little different. I posted a poll last episode, and you guys I said you want to see an island out in the outside world outside the safe zone way over there so what I did is I added the wall a little farther out into the ocean there and it goes all the way up over here and then we just have to finish up this side and then the city has been kind of contained those are quotation marks kind of contained even though there's zombies and giant robots and aliens in here it's kind of contained so we're going to be heading out to the far ocean and we are going to be building a secret island where there's going to be a little man on it. And this little man, he is going to be surviving. He's going to be surviving on this island by himself. He's been out there for quite a while. He knows what he's doing. I don't think there's much zombies out there or maybe there is and he has to use the tools that he built with scavenged materials to save his own life. Let's get building the secret island where this little man is surviving. Now we need to get some island looking things here. Uh, there is some pretty good stuff we can use if I can find it. Where's the roads and stuff? Roads! There they are. Okay, so we scroll in here and what we're going to use is we are going to use this beach stuff here although you can kind of see that there is concrete there but that's okay we could just throw grass in on there all the way up over here oh you know what that's like a perfect color even though there's concrete there this is a man-made island this was a man-made island maybe it's like a oh I just got a really good idea this is where the virus kind of started even though it was kind of the aliens faults as well we're gonna have like a laboratory on this island and this this guy who's living on here doesn't even realize that's where the zombies have been coming from okay now let's build this massive island this is gonna go across and then we're gonna have some more beach parts here so this is coming along really nicely i don't like those edges there so i might have to do something about that so if you guys are enjoying this game and you want to see more, make sure you like this video. It helps me a lot. By the way, I have a Discord channel if you guys did not realize. Come join. We, we talk about random things. I host giveaways and things like that. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. That is a nice looking island. It's not very big, but it's actually, if, if you think about it, it is pretty big. So it's like three by two city blocks. Uh, maybe he crashed on a plane. Maybe the survivor crashed on a plane and He has no way off this island even though you could see the wall there I think I might just throw some trees there so he doesn't see the wall something like that Maybe we'll have him on this side of the island surviving this edge of the island It's just filled with trees and things like that and then in the middle, I think I'm going to have like a little research facility. Oh man, it's going to be a pain placing all these down. Why'd I do this? I don't know, guys. I, I question myself sometimes. Actually, I question myself all the time. That's not bad. I might just leave it like that. It kind of looks like a smiley face. A cyclops smiley face. Now let's zoom right in. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's really hard to see. Like if you're down over here, I guess you could see the giant robot. But there's trees and stuff in the way. Um, I'm probably gonna have to throw more trees in here. So there we go. I put some other trees down. It's not the best looking scenario. I might add the guy in here. Maybe he's on this side here just trying to survive. I'm gonna get a little bit more trees. And then in the midst of these trees, right here, I am going to add him and his little survival area. What are these? That's litter. Well, there we go. We made his bed. That is his bed. <laughs> That also is his bed. He used like newspapers and stuff. We need our survivor. What is he gonna look like? I have no clue. I think the best looking people for this would be some type of like hobo. Not just because they're a hobo, but because their clothes is like all ragged. They have a backpack. They kind of look like a survivor who's been trapped out here for a bit. We'll have him sitting for now. He just woke up. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, he just woke up. So for a little house, I'm just going to use lumber like this. We're going to stretch it out quite a bit. He built like a makeshift sh shack or something. So, well, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. Maybe like that. Yep. 
And then, boom. Oh, yeah. It's like a homemade tent, kind of. I don't know. He just crashed on this island. Maybe he's been here for a while. I don't know. Maybe I'll give him another backstory. Who knows? I might throw some bushes on it to make it look a little more believable. A little more believable. So we need to find some shrubbery in here. Give this little man some shelter. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so there's some money here. Maybe he was an investor of something. Oh, good story coming up, guys. There's a good story coming up. Seedlings will work. We'll just throw it on his shelter here like this. Looks like he just plopped some leaves on top of his shelter. Uh, it's kind of believable, I guess. Yeah, okay, yeah. There's his little shelter. And then over here, in like one of these trees, we'll have his plane crashed. We need to find something that looks believable. So in here, um, he was going on a flight by himself which is usually not a good idea. His plane crashed into a tree or something. It went down. It's still on fire because there's still fuel in there. All right, so we have his plane crashed. We need to have like luggage that popped out the back here. Bang, what's that? That's nice. His plane's crashed. He's stuck on this island. He's surviving all alone. So another little backstory for this man on the island. He's actually not really alone. He just decides to stay here because he likes it, although he doesn't realize the city is still over there. But, the reason he's staying here- I keep changing the story by the way. The reason he's staying here is because there is a dock over here, right? There is a dock, and what happens is people from like the city and around come by, and they, um, they stop by for his investment, and what he invested in was a tropical donut shop. He makes donuts from scratch on this island. So we need to have like a little hut or something on the beach here where he where he sells his food. It's gonna be made of lumber as well because we don't wanna give him like this really nice building because it would make no sense for him to be sleeping in it, would it? No, not really. There's one thing I forgot on this island and I was going to add hills. They're going to be like really big mountains that also stops the view of the city. Just throw this in here like that. That looks much better already. Okay, so now it's time to make his little donut shop on the beach here. I'm gonna have this lumber here. We're gonna make it with that. But I do need to go in here and add uh, this guy here, this businessman for a reference. There we go. To get the sizing right. Um, maybe we'll have like a little platform here with some chairs. Oh, this is cool. So he built all of this by hand. A little after he crashed or something like that. And then we need to add like a little ramp. Cool. Yeah, looking amazing. This guy right here will be like, oh, I need some donuts. And so he'll walk up here and then there's the donut shop. We need a name for that guy. So maybe we'll call him Jeffrey. Jeffrey, he's made millions. I'm saying millions off of this business of donut shoppery. Time to build the little donut shop. I think I'm going to make it like this. Nothing too, too crazy. We don't want it insanely big either, but it's gonna look like it's homemade. That's what I like about this game. You can make anything, really. Oh, yeah. That looks like a stand of some type. Now we just need to add the other stuff in here, like a little counter for the guy. Just pop this in like that. Oh, man. How do you guys like this so far? Is it looking nice? Inside his little donut shop here. What we need to do is we need to add like a little campfire. Okay, so he found like a trash can out in the middle of nowhere. He uses that for cooking the donuts. Deep frying the donuts. Trash can donuts, the best investment ever. So there's a bunch of different donuts here. This one right here is a dirt donut. It's flavored like dirt. Of course, Jeffrey, whatever his name was, has a cat. Um, Jeffrey decided to sleep in today. He did not realize there was customers. He has a huge lineup here of people that came off this yacht. The captain's yelling at them. He's telling them to get back on board because Jeffrey- so He doesn't get sales when he's late for work. And then over here, there is a spy underneath the dock. He's spying on Jeffrey's secret ingredient. But the cat- the cat defends the donut recipe. And this guy's seen him. He's like, oh! Oh, oh, he's gonna walk up to him and he's gonna be like, Ja, Ja, Ja. Smack him in the face. Because that's not nice to steal people's hard work. All right, so let's go over here. I add some more donuts to the shop here. He has a new technique of cooking the donuts. He just puts them on like this red hot ring to cook them. Uh, glaze and everything. 
And his specialty is Mega Donuts. Mega Donuts. This is his sign right here. That's not a real donut. Oh man, that's a little big, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, wow. I'm really happy with this design. So we are done with Jeffrey's side of the island. If you guys have any suggestions on anything I should add to this area, let me know. The donut shop is just amazing. He made millions, and I'm saying millions off of this investment. Well, it's not really investment, is it? Because he just started it up without even having any money or anything. He built it from his hands up. So really, he earned a lot of income. And he makes the donuts from scratch too? Man, so over here, he's just gonna have a vault that he made just for his money. So there we go, there's his little homemade vault. Of course, it's guarded off by wood. Um, although it's not very secure looking, is it? Not really, so that's why. There is a zombie sailor trying to get in. He's trying to like break it off of his foot or something. He's like, Argh! these zombies, they don't always want brains. This guy right here, he wants Jeffrey, his load of cash that he made, he's gonna have to pay the government. The, I guess there's not really a government, so, yeah. The money, it could be used wherever. Uh, he doesn't know about the city, so he's just gonna hold on to it until he gets rescued or something. Although, he can get rescued. I don't know anymore, guys. Maybe he's just saving up so that he can go back to the city or something in the future when he has a lot of money. So there's his little part of the island. Now it's time to build the research facility side of the island right here where Jeffrey can't see it. This is where the outbreak started. Maybe the scientists got the disease or whatever from the aliens because if you guys remember from previous episodes, the aliens are weird looking animal creatures. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. All right, so what are we gonna use? Well, we have this. This is going to be in the side of the mountain. Maybe it's like a little watchtower or something. Then we're going to have these in the side of the mountain as well. We got some fuel silos, of course. Maybe that's where they contain the viruses. Oh, there we go, power plant. That thing is huge, way bigger than people. So I'll just have this like over here. This is part of the science wing of the research facility. Boom, bang. There's a zombie. He is a sailor zombie. He's breaking out of like a window or something. This one is too. She's hanging. She's like, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Scientist. Perfect. We need a lot of scientist zombies. They're just roaming around the old research facility. Oh. Whoa, wait. Wait. There's a space section, right? Well, we can have. Oh, man. We can have like a little launch pad here and maybe an observatory up in the mountain or something. Nothing too big though, just something like that. We'll have it on top of this right here. It's a whole research facility like that. And there's the launch pad. Okay, so this is what happened. There is still some scientists on this island, right? There's one guy up there. He's the real one. There's zombies over there. I still got to add their eyes, but he's yelling out like this, help and what happened was the scientists, the remaining scientists, they launched themselves into space. That's right, guys. They launched themselves into space. So we have this rocket here launching up into the sky like this. It's gone. It's gone. The tower released. It's backwards like that. And it's flying away. Now we need to add some thrusters on it. I don't know if this is accurate at all, but bang. We have a rocket launching from the island. It could probably be seen from over there, the whole city over there, or maybe even heard. Now that's pretty much it. So if you have any suggestions at all for Tiny Town, let me know. There's our secret little island with our survivor, Jeffrey, over there making millions of dollars on his little island donut shop. He made it by hand, guys. Made it with love by hand. He's all he's only there for the money. I don't know. All right, but for now Thank you for watching and subscribing and remember stay sweet. Bye